I'm James from Sunbank Solar, and I want to share with you what a net zero home can look like. Uh, so we're up on the roof because that's where um, all of the energy production and most of the energy consumption actually happens. So we can kind of point out the, the different uh, app appliances happening. So uh, the first is my favorite is the solar water heater, uh, the Sunbank. And um, the Sunbank is um, about three or four times more efficient than the solar panels here, and it handles uh, all of our solar, all of our water heating, which is about um, about 30% of the average home's energy consumption. So, uh, to put that another way, we would need uh, three or four times as many of these in terms of collector area uh, to produce the same amount of hot water. Um, so, the sun bank uh, for us. Uh, he produces all of our water with only solar for about six to eight months of the year. Um, and during the winter, uh, uses some electric backup. You can see the, uh, the electric element. We have the smart controller on this one. Um, and that electric backup comes from the solar panels. So the solar panels, um, we have an 8.8 .8 kilowatt uh, solar panel system, and that's producing as much energy as we consume. Um, the um, a lot of people will uh, point out that solar panels are really expensive, and there are ways um, to install solar panels without paying for it up front. So that's called a power purchase agreement, a PPA, and there are several companies, big name companies you will have heard of, um, that can offer that. Um, so um, a lot of people also ask, well, are your solar panels um, grid tied or do you have battery backup? And we are residential customers and we have a really reliable grid. So that's a really um, inexpensive or free battery, basically. And there's no real incentive for us to get a battery at this point. Um, that's more for load shifting for the utility uh, and that can be done at utility scale. So that's something for the future, but there's no good reason to do that as far as I can see right now. Um, and then in terms of the consumption, the, uh, the largest consumer of electricity in the house is that, that's our heat pump. So that's a uh, roof mounted package unit and it does our heating and our cooling, which is about 50% uh, about of the home's total energy consumption. Uh, we've been really happy with the heat pump. Um, we, in our climate, it rarely goes below 35 degrees. So we found we didn't need the heat strips, which is um, an electric heating that's not very efficient. So we can always use the heat pump capability, which is great, um, and it's offset by the solar panels. Um, and then out front, we have, and not pictured here, uh, we have an electric car plugged in, a plug-in hybrid actually. And, um, and that's good because that means we can kind of take our energy produced here on site and we can take it with us because um, really the most energy intensive thing that we do is drive. Um, to give you an example, we consume on average about 25 kilowatt hours per day in the house, and that's equivalent to driving about 75 miles with the electric car. Um, so you can see how energy intensive that is. Um, so yeah, this is, you know, it's relatively simple what you can do to take your home and make it a net zero home. Um, obviously it does have some expense, uh, but for example, you know, next time you go to replace your furnace, think about putting in a heat pump. You know, it's all electricity and that's the thing is natural gas cannot be produced or consumed emission free, but electricity can be. And so that's why, you know, the state of California and other, other utilities are really pushing all electric appliances is so that they can eventually be emissions free if they're not right now. Um, obviously, another thing you can do is install a solar water heater, which is uh, relatively low cost compared to solar panels and can take, you know, that 30% of your home's energy consumption, it can take care of that. Uh, and then, you know, solar panels, of course, um, you can do with the PPA if that's a, if that's a big upfront cost. Um, and then even an electric car, you know, you can get a plug-in hybrid or uh, a used uh, Nissan LEAF, for example, uh, pretty reliably for under $5,000. So um, there's a number of things you can do to start moving towards a net zero or an emissions-free household. And uh, just wanted to share some of those with you.